through Google, go to YouTube, and just, no, no, real quick, put in my name and then see what's going on with the slander. I've seen it. Okay, so you've seen They're it. They're all well aware of it. Oh, so, so if you're well aware, why are we acting like this didn't happen? Why because are you talking? This, this is, is not, not about you. Oh, this is fuck the motherfucker. Fuck the motherfucker. Fuck the motherfucker. He's a total motherfucker. Fuck the motherfucker. Fuck the motherfucker. Fuck the is everybody's little insecurities might be the real problem here. Might be the real problem of why can nobody shed light on? Damn, man, that's kind of incredible. This complete outsider is able to stand in with this veteran hasn't really publicly disappointed other than the narrative being written. And nobody's really recognizing, and that's kind of like a little impressive, this guy who has no experience in this game came in and is able not only to handle this pressure, we don't see him shaking. We don't see him bringing Diego down. We don't see him messing Diego's focus up, but nobody said that. I don't know why I'm being so ridiculed. Nobody's saying how much ability I have. I'm... I'm 38 years old. I'm older than Diego. Why has nobody looked up my abilities? Just because I didn't rub you guys' noses in it and tell you about it doesn't mean I don't have them. And I'm 38 years old, and if I can do this stuff and I can keep up with people that train all day, take supplements, have every advantage, giving up 30, 40 pounds and a foot of height, you might think that I might know what I'm doing. How come are you not putting the emphasis on a 38-year-old man in less than a fucking year changed his style and one guy did it, not a team of six guys? Maybe I'm doing the right shit. Maybe when I'm 38 and I look 25. You know, like all around the world, I've been playing with people that are top-level professionals. I shouldn't be able to do it. School of self is the only way. I understand myself. I don't compete with anyone else. I simply control myself better than anyone else. The first one that I'm involved in is the best fight he's had in 10 years. Nobody wants to acknowledge and give me credit for that. But if I'm obviously the only thing new, it might be that. You know, if you say that, it might make me sound like an actually good, nice coach. It might actually sound like I know what I'm doing. But no, 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 no. That would make Joshua Fabio look like an amazing coach. Do you see now how disrespectful it really is to all of these thousands of people that have worked with me around the world? Again, are you saying that government and law enforcement don't know how to vet somebody? None of you guys have been vetted. I don't, I don't want to go into this on you guys, but if we flip the script and I interview you, trust me, this shit will go sideways. Now we're going to get into this astroturf and shit of the internet and controlling analytics and making it so the verifiable footage of me and the jaw-dropping action, you don't get to see. Because there's Joe Rogan's footage, the first thing, when you put my name in YouTube. And on top of it, the criticism truly starts from Joe Rogan's dumbass, talking out of turn, slandering somebody, doing malfeasance in the audience's eyes, might be interesting, we're in Joe. The, Ro we're in thousands. Might be interesting, Joe Rogan talking that shit about me saying 100, 100. Maybe you should ask me what the fuck it means, asshole. There's amazing footage of me. How come Joe Rogan didn't show that? And when Ariel Awani has been astroturfed, and yet you're gonna participate in the astroturfing of me, you're a motherfucker. And now you've been disrespectful. Now you're wondering why I'm speaking the way I'm speaking. When everywhere I go in the world, I don't use name dropping. I played for football for Dewey Sullivan, the most winningest coach in Oregon history. I was in Dallas. I trained South Lake football team when they were national high school football champs. But I'm not a name dropper. I wrestled for Emory Blackwell, one of the best wrestling coaches in Oregon history. I trained wrestling teams, volleyball teams, because I understand the gray space of everything in between. I can do any sport. You know, be aware, be ready, be strong. And um, so, so tell them what School of Self Awareness will teach you with this online course. Go ahead, tell them, since you're the guide in the course, Diego. Uh, uh, no, I don't know if he even has to do it. UFC will do it one way or another. That's the point. He did to go out there and perform on that night. Well, and hold on. If you have planned your whole... What it is. Like, the, no, hold on. He's seen me walk around the Holy Land barefoot. Man. No, no, hold on, hold on. They're, they're so concerned. They're thinking about stopping the fight. I do not ask anyone to do anything I haven't done myself. 
at least a thousand times. And if you yourself haven't done it a thousand times perfectly, it's not yours to teach. And then one day you walk your little ass out into the real world and you run into somebody like me and your whole reality is gone. What you understood to be correct will be upside down. Wake the fuck up. You guys just left the UFC, right? You guys yeah, got- we just left there. We just left Sean Shelby. <laughs> and if you think I'm talking like this now, I talk to him like that too. Don't think that I'm over here acting. I ain't putting up with nobody's shit. And I don't care who you think you are, I'm going to call you out. So this astroturfing thing that clearly you have to have money to do to put the slander on the amount of content, negative context on all of our posts so nobody sees our posts. That's fucking with the big term analytics and messing with the masses manipulated minds. Interesting. It's a billion dollar industry and how much money is going into betting. And wow, something just happened that the people betting didn't probably win. And wow. If you don't like the swearing, this motherfucker forced from me and reckon it shows moral or intellectual paucity, then fuck you, motherfucker. This is language one employs when one is fucking pissed at motherfuckers fucking boys. Self-healing on this area, getting, you know. Might, might be the uh, reason why he's moving around so well and looking so well. But let's no. not mention was, that. Was that the size of the sc- what? I can't tell on the screen. Like, Yeah, we can't see that scar now. Who took out them stitches? Coach. Oh, that's right. Just saved him some more money. Saved him some more time. You know? 